I've touched no, you're worldwide, dude. I mean, your music, I feel like your music was very like, you know, I feel like I learned so much from your music as a kid because it was before I really had like readily like internet access, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So like some of the shit like about like our government or just the world, like I first heard like you rapping about it. <laughs> Do you hear that a lot? I mean, I think it was during a time in which people were um, living in a post 9-11 world that was really fresh. Mm-hmm. And a lot of individuals were scared. They were looking for easy answers, looking for ways to blame people. And when I brought up things like, for example, that uh, I po- made a post today because it's the 20 year anniversary of Senator Wellstone's uh, death in mm-hmm. a mysterious plane crash. And he was one of the only senators after 9-11 that brought up the fact that bin Laden was a CIA asset. That was not something people wanted to discuss in 2002. Right. Right. That his code name, and this is not a conspiracy theory. No, it's not a conspiracy. It's true. Yeah. His code name was Timothy Osman, and that he carried out several um, acts and atrocities um, in the name of the United States government for their purposes. But not just that. Also, talking to people in Afghanistan when I went there, mm-hmm. he was responsible and took part in what they call the Hazara genocide, which is something that is going on now with the Taliban. And that's a series of Asiatic, um, Central Asian um, people from Afghanistan. Yeah. And they were targeted for genocide. So before bin Laden ever killed any Americans, he murdered children outside of a city called mazar sharif And wow. like I went to Afghanistan in 2009 to build an orphanage and a school with the profits from uh, an album that I had called The Third World with DJ Green Lantern, 